Arithmetic is something Java can do quite well. Uh, let me show you. Class. New, we're creating a new class here. Um, let's call it Arithmetic. I hope I spelled that right. Uh, let's see. Okay. Finish. Good. Um, okay. We're creating an arbitrary double value. Mm, double. We're going to call it my number. And we're going to set it to 10. So this variable holds a double. It's equal to 10. And we're going to create a variable holding a result. We're going to call it result. And it's not going to be set at anything. It's also a double. It holds a double. Now, let's see. What do we want to do to my num? How about we want to divide it by 2? If we divide my num by 2, by two 10 divided by 2, that's going to be equal to 5. So how do we do that? Well, what do we want a result value to equal? We want a result value to equal to my num divided by 2. Just like that. And then what do we want to do? We want to do a system.out.println bracket, and we want to print out result, just like that. System.out.println result. Looks good. Play. OK, proceed. 5, good to go. Now, let's see. What else can we do? Can we take this divide and turn it into a plus? If you said yes, hey, you're right, because 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. Can we turn it into a multiplication? Proceed. Yes, we can. 10 times 2 is 20. And finally, let's just make sure we can subtract. And that's 8. And let me show you one more. Let me show you the, rem the remainder operator, if you will, the mod. Um, it's a percent sign like that, and what's the remainder when you divide 10 by 3? It's 1, because 10 divided by 3, you get 333 3, 3 equals 9, and you have 1 as a remainder. Just so you know. Okay, now let's see. What if we wanted to do my number squared? How do we do that? Well, to get a number squared, we have to multiply it by itself. So my num times my num. Can we do that? Let's see. Oh, 100. Looks like we can do that. Now, let's see. We're storing the value in result right now. But what if we just wanted to update the value of my num? How would we do that? Let's delete result. We don't need result anymore. It's no longer useful to us. We're just going to put my num right here. And make sure that y is lowercase. There we go. And instead of printing result out, we're going to print out my no. Just like that. Okay. And let's see what are we going to do. Hmm. My num, we're going to assign it to the old value of my num plus 10. How about that? So this is saying the new value of my num is equal to the old value of my num, which is 10, plus 10. What should 10 plus 10 be? 10 plus 10 should be 20. Proceed. 20 it is. Um, my num is the old value of my num times 13. How about that? Okay. Works just the same way. So what, what, what this is going, it's the program's going down, it's going, oh, my num is 10. Okay. And then it's going down and saying, oh, my num is going to be reassigned. You see the equals? That's the assignment operator. So it's going, oh, what's the new value of my num? It must be the old value of my num at 10 times 13. And that's all going to go into the my num, the new value that's going to be assigned to my num. So there's an easier way to do this. When you're, this is totally valid, but when you're just, reass, when you're just doing an operation on a variable and then you're assigning the result of that operation back into the variable, there's an easier way to do that. Instead of typing all this out, we just go my num. Then we put the operator, we put the equal sign and 13. Um, so we have the arithmetic operator here, the multiplication. We have the assignment operator here, and we have the number we want to perform. So what this is saying is take my num, multiply it by 13, multiply it by 13. So we take 10, multiply it by 13, 130, 
and assign it back into Mina. Let's change this value just so that our console updates. So let's see, 15, proceed, 150, good to go. Okay, so what are these called again? These are arithmetic assignment operators. Really useful when, you're, um, when you need to change the value of variables.